Few things generate as much buzz in the world of electric cars as a price that seems unbelievable. But now, it's no longer a rumor, nor an internet sensation. Tesla has confirmed that the much-talked-about Model 2 will indeed arrive on the market in 2026, with a price that seems to have come straight from a collective delusion. Use 15,999 for the standard version and around $20,000 for the most complete versions. It's the kind of announcement that truly changes the game. And more than that, it's not a project for the distant future. Production has already begun discreetly on the Giga Texas lines and is expanding strongly in Giga Shanghai, where the level of efficiency is so absurd that the car can be assembled in less than 20 seconds. This launch is not just a commercial move, it's a sharp response to growing pressure from the Asian market, mainly from BYD. By choosing to launch first in China and Europe, Tesla makes it clear that it understood the message. Either it dives headfirst into the low-price battle, or it risks falling behind in the global game. And even with the launch event scheduled for November, there are signs that pre-sales will only actually begin in 2026. Still, prototypes are already circulating without camouflage, as if to announce, it's real and it's coming. Tesla's great achievement here lies not only in the final price, but in how they managed to reach that price without losing the brand's identity. Instead of rushing to cut everything and package a stripped-down car just to please the wallet, they took the path of industrial intelligence. Every second saved on the assembly line, every part redesigned to be cheaper without losing efficiency, contributed to something that was previously considered impossible. A true Tesla with a technological soul and cutting-edge electric motor at a price that fits the budget of many people. Of course, there are still those who doubt it, and I understand why. After all, for years the Model 2 was more of a myth than a real product. But the difference now is that production is already on an increasing pace. Testing is in its final stages, and perhaps most importantly, Elon Musk, who once called this project meaningless, has now reversed course and is betting heavily on its realization. That says a lot. When Musk himself changes his mind and allocates significant resources, it's because something very big is about to happen. Meanwhile, the market watches in astonishment. An electric car for less than $16,000, especially with the Tesla brand, is not just a provocation. It's an earthquake. Behind the scenes, other automakers are scrambling to revise their schedules, production lines, and even pricing strategies. Tesla, once again, is ahead of the curve and forcing the entire sector to rethink its limits. It's as if it were saying, you were aiming for $25,000? Fine, we'll deliver it for 15,990s. And that's not all. This more affordable model doesn't come alone. It's accompanied by an ecosystem of support and constant updates, characteristics that have always given Tesla an advantage. And that changes everything, because it's not just a simple car, but a technology experience on wheels, ready to evolve over time, receive updates, and integrate with the future the company is building with FSD, robots, and even the Tesla bot. All this within a compact and affordable hatchback. Another thing that stands out is the strategy of maintaining two production lines, one in the US, with Giga Texas adjusted to handle massive volumes, and another in China, where the level of efficiency is simply surreal. In Shanghai, the pace is so fast that the Model Y was already coming off the line in 33 seconds, and now with fewer components, the Model 2 should reach 20 seconds per unit. This is no longer just about making cars, it's about making history with robots and precision engineering. At first glance, it seems too simple, but that's precisely where the genius behind the new Model 2 lies. Tesla opted for a design that cuts out the superfluous without sacrificing the essential, and that's harder than it looks. The car's visual design draws directly from the Model Y, but in a leaner, more compact body with intentionally softened lines. The headlights are narrower, 
the lines are cleaner, and the volumes are well-defined. No aesthetic exaggerations or frills. Here, every detail has a clear purpose, to reduce costs, increase efficiency, and maintain the Tesla identity. And the bold decisions don't stop there. Goodbye panoramic sunroof, goodbye leather seats, goodbye premium sound system with 15 speakers. Instead, the Model 2 offers cloth seats, a basic sound system, simple windows, and an even more minimalist dashboard. But believe me, the car remains a Tesla in every sense. 12-inch central screen, present. Autopilot with OTA updates, also present. Full integration with the Tesla app, of course. Everything that really matters is there. Unnecessary luxury has been left out, and rightfully so. These choices have a clear purpose, to cut thousands of dollars per unit without compromising the experience. Replacing leather with fabric, for example, generates savings of around $500 per car. Smaller wheels help reduce material costs, energy consumption, and even tire wear. Even the glass, now single-layered, represents a significant saving in production. And contrary to what many think, this doesn't make the car bad. It makes it more accessible, more rational, and let's face it, not everyone needs a sunroof to be happy. The curious thing is that, even with so many cuts, the Model 2 doesn't feel like a stripped-down vehicle. The distribution of elements, the simple yet well-done finish, and the retention of the digital control center create a modern, futuristic atmosphere, consistent with Tesla's proposition. It's the kind of car that doesn't try to be something it's not. And that's precisely why it wins people over. It seems honest, straightforward. And that's rare in the automotive market, where marketing often tries to compensate for what's lacking in engineering. Inside, the space is well utilized. The car comfortably accommodates four adults and can even carry a fifth passenger with some difficulty. Nothing too different from other hatchbacks on the market. The rear seats are simple but functional, and the trunk is surprisingly large. Tesla opted to eliminate the rear display and other perks, such as heated seats or a surround sound system. And you know what? Most people won't even miss them. That's because the focus is on making the car functional, accessible, and with Tesla DNA. Engineering also worked hard to make everything lighter. From the adoption of recyclable materials and composite plastics to changes in the geometry of internal parts, Everything contributes to weight reduction and simplified assembly. This directly impacts performance, range, and even transportation costs. A lighter car consumes less energy and demands less from the engine, something crucial in a model with a smaller battery. In other words, the design wasn't just conceived for aesthetics, but as an integral part of the efficiency strategy. Even with this simpler approach, the Model 2 hasn't lost its personality. It's still easily recognizable as a Tesla by its proportions, headlights, dashboard finish, and even the way it interacts with the user. The design speaks to the driver without needing to scream luxury. It's a car that seems to say, I'm technological, practical, and I'm here to take you far intelligently. And honestly? That's much more interesting than perforated leather seats or speakers in every corner of the cabin. If the Model 2's appearance is already eye-catching, what happens behind the scenes of its production is even more impressive. Tesla's big breakthrough wasn't just in design or price, but in how this car is built. Forget the traditional assembly line, with cars going through dozens of manual steps. Here, the unboxed concept comes into play completely dismantling the old way of manufacturing cars. Literally, instead of assembling the car piece by piece, Tesla created modular clusters that are prefabricated and then connected like a jigsaw puzzle. Fast, precise, and with minimal human intervention. This new method would be impossible without the star of the show, the 54,000-ton Giga Press. It's such an absurd machine that it seems like something out of science fiction. With a pressing force almost nine times greater than the already powerful Gigapress used on the Model Y, 
It molds entire car parts in a matter of seconds. The front, the rear, the floor, everything comes out of a single press. This reduces the number of structural parts from over 200 to about 85, drastically decreasing assembly time, failure points, and welding costs. And the most curious thing? The precision. When you cast an entire chassis all at once, there's no variation, no play, no alignment error. Every inch of the body is identical to the previous one. Tesla has basically transformed a car into a standardized industrial product on par with a smartphone. It may seem like an exaggeration, but this comparison isn't random. Elon Musk has already stated that his goal is to make cars the way Apple makes iPhones, fast, efficient, with as little assembly as possible at the end of the line. This system also allows the car to be assembled in a few hours, not days. In practice, this means that the Model 2 can roll off the production line at a rate never before seen in the automotive industry. In ideal situations, the estimate is one vehicle every five seconds. It's such an insane pace that it completely changes the mathematics of mass production. Less time, less labor, less physical space occupied, and more lower cost per unit, which paves the way to maintain the price of a 15 Weinstein 990 without relying on tax incentives. And when assembly is complete, the car is almost ready to drive. All that's left is to install the battery and configure the software. This is because the modules, including the structure and interior, arrive at the final assembly line practically complete. This plug-and-play car concept not only speeds up the process, but also facilitates global transport. Tesla can manufacture the modules in a gigafactory and send them for final assembly in another region with much greater speed and logistical savings. The structural design of the Model 2 is another revolution in itself. The chassis is made of high-strength cast aluminum, making it both lightweight and incredibly durable. Furthermore, it features a multi-layered anti-corrosion paint finish and an active battery cooling system, ensuring the car can withstand both extreme heat and polar cold. All of this is designed to prevent premature wear and maintain stable performance for years, without unpleasant surprises. Tesla's genius in making the Model 2 so accessible truly begins to reveal itself when you look at what's under the hood. The motorization has been completely redesigned to cut costs without sacrificing efficiency. The new drive unit uses 75% less silicon carbide and completely eliminates the use of rare earth elements, which are expensive, difficult to extract, and dependent on unstable supply chains, especially with China. As a result, each motor costs around $1,000, an unbelievable price by industry standards. And the best part, without losing significant performance, this cheaper motor didn't come alone. It works in partnership with an equally optimized battery. Tesla chose LFP, lithium iron phosphate, chemistry for the Model 2, a strategic choice. These batteries are cheaper, safer, and extremely durable. With a capacity of 53 kilowatts, the car can achieve up to 280 miles of range in the base version and 310 miles in the extended version. It's not top of the line, but it's more than enough to meet the needs of the vast majority of drivers on a daily basis. And here's another detail that many people forget, the price of the battery. Tesla managed to bring the cost of the complete pack down to US 2,786 thanks to the use of LFP chemistry and partnerships with suppliers like CATL. But this cost should fall even further. This is because Tesla will begin producing these batteries internally at its Nevada factory starting in 2026. This change could reduce costs by use $115,500 to use $2,000 per pack, in addition to eliminating import tariffs and logistical delays a move that improves both the final price and the company's range. Now, there's a detail that few people notice, but it's fundamental. The combination of a simpler motor and a more streamlined battery only works because the car is extremely light and aerodynamic. 
Every kilogram saved in design and every centimeter adjusted in the body contributes to this smaller battery performing better. Tesla streamlined wherever possible, from simple glass to a metal roof, and with that, created a car that demands less from the battery to deliver the same result. And that changes everything in terms of cost-benefit. Another interesting point is that, despite being a cheaper car, the Model 2 doesn't rely on futuristic technologies to function. It doesn't use the infamous 4680 cells, for example. This was a major concern for experts, as 4680 cells are still expensive and difficult to produce on a large scale. By opting for a smaller, simpler, and already well-established battery, Tesla skips a step and avoids the same bottlenecks that hampered the Cybertruck and the Semi. In other words, it cleverly took a shortcut. And it doesn't stop there. The Model 2 was also designed to be modular from the start. This means Tesla can use different battery or motor suppliers depending on the region or demand. If KATL can't handle it, BYD, Panasonic, or even the Nevada factory itself steps in. This flexibility gives Tesla enormous control over costs and logistics and prevents bottlenecks from affecting the overall schedule. It's the kind of solution that seems obvious after someone invents it, but no one had done it until now. Even with all these innovations and cost cuts, the biggest obstacle Tesla faces now isn't in the factory or the materials, it's in politics. The end of the $7,500 tax credit for electric vehicles in the United States was a considerable blow to the brand's strategy. Until then, this incentive acted as a cushion that made Tesla cars more competitive against cheaper rivals. Now, without this support, the automaker needs, on its own, to keep the final price of the Model 2 attractive. And that completely changes the economic equation of the project. But on the other side of the world, competition is accelerating. Companies like BYD, NIO, and even smaller manufacturers are launching electric cars for use $9,000 to use $10,000, which seems unbeatable at first glance. But there's more to it than meets the eye. These models generally have limited batteries, short range, simple finishes, and very few smart features. And when they enter markets like Europe or the United States, they face import taxes, safety requirements, and logistical challenges that can double their final cost. The cheap option ends up being expensive, and Tesla knows this. The curious thing is that, even in the face of this difficult situation, Elon Musk doesn't seem worried, and perhaps rightly so. Tesla's bet isn't to be the cheapest on any price list, but to be the most reliable among affordable options. This includes everything from autonomous driving software to battery durability and robust construction. While rivals try to cut costs as much as possible, Tesla plays the efficiency game, maintaining essential features and cutting corners where it doesn't affect the user experience. And honestly, this kind of choice makes a difference when the car needs to last more than three summers. Of course, the challenge is significant. The average consumer is still shocked to see an electric car costing over use $15,000 especially when there are visibly cheaper options on the Asian market. But that's where the brand's weight comes in.